I never said Steph Curry should come off the bench. I never said I wanted him to come off the bench. I said, of course, he's not coming off the bench. I set it up for three minutes. What I said was, when I started hearing the Chris Paul discussion about whether he's going to start, come off the bench, I went through I said, well, Looney goes to the bench. Okay, Chris Paul would come off the bench. That means it's Curry and Clay. Well, you know, Clay's not coming off the bench. Yeah. And so what comes into my head is, huh, what about Steph Curry? With a smile on my face. Yeah. And you, you know can what? Watch the show. For the last time. You too. I ain't saying he should come off the bench, nor is he going to come off the bench. My point, the discussion that I wanted to have, yeah. Guru, was that it was a mechanism to start a discussion about why Steph Curry is so unique no as a person and as a player. It was a way to get in to some of the greatness about Steph Curry as a player and as a person. He's one of the greatest players of all time. You're right. He'll never come. Why would you even say, why would you even think about him coming off the bench? I'll tell you why. It's because of all the great players that I've ever seen, he might be the most willing to do it if he had to. He might be the best at making the role of sixth man as good as it's ever been done by a player. He could be twice as good as Lou Williams, mm. all right? Is he going to the bench? No, he's not going to the bench. But my point was I wanted to have a discussion about what makes Steph Curry the most unique player I've seen in a long, long time. And you know what? For kicks, for fun, there are some actual basketball reasons that you can make. For the last time, is Steph Curry coming off the bench? No. But some of you guys blew an opportunity yesterday to talk about the greatness of Steph Curry and why, why that even ran through my head. Mm. And it ran through my head because Steph Curry is one of the most unique athletes on and off the court as I've ever seen. Cut that, please. I got send it back. out. Send it out to the. Send it out to the. Not the that jackals. you need me. Send it to the jackals. I got your back like a t-shirt, Donnie, and right. I'm gonna tell you why. I almost lost my stuff when you first said this, but then on the guru meter, I said, "This is the ultimate compliment." He's giving Curry a compliment. Of Someone course. Someone here, Stani, don't trip walking backwards. But it's not backwards. Get off. See, you, you were giving you know Steph. You, you were giving Stani. You it's get my that same again. call every day. Huh? Hello. Hey. She's calling from London. But, no, it, it was the ultimate compliment to the chef and his of personality. Of course it so was. So that's when I stopped. I said, he ain't going to get me to raise my blood pressure. So I get you. But the people took it as if you were... You know, it was a demerit towards Steph. So I'm going to let you know, again, I got your back. You don't need me to have it. This is your last day before your vacay. Yeah. We lightweight juice for you, Stani. But uh, I knew what you meant. So, look, I knew I was going to hear it because I know there's a, there's a few. There's a, there's they a, came at you. There's a small percentage of people that just. There was a large they, part. You know what? <laughs> I forgot there's going to be a small percentage of, of, of people who. Wouldn't be able to get, wouldn't be able to go from point A to point C. Oh, some people are only capable of going to from point A to point B. Those are the people who say that's a dumb idea. Well, okay, it's yeah. the reason it's not a dumb idea is because talk to them. It provokes and promotes a discussion on why somebody would even think that about yeah. Steph Curry. Yeah. So uh, get off of there, Twitter, there, which there, you did. I was. I'm, I'm on Twitter. But now, I do read the, com the, the so, comments. So th this comment. So sometimes. then, last thing on this, I come in today and I kind of explain to Evan, you know, man, he's, I, I just feel like this. Not saying he should go off the bench. 
I'm saying, don't people realize this guy is so <laughs> special yeah. that, you know, no, who's my favorite player of all time? Bert. Okay. Ask me if I think it. Bert, off the bench? Please. No chance. He'd, he'd give you a knuckle See, sandwich. It wouldn't work. Psh, psh, psh. You wouldn't ask him. And he wouldn't do it. And, Cl- and we said, and he yeah, wouldn't. He like, like, he just wouldn't. Yeah, Clay wouldn't either. No, we like you, Clay. Most players wouldn't. And Steph would obviously be reluctant. But I'm telling you that if Steph Curry got in a sixth. And by the way, we don't have to talk about this now, but is he going to start every game of his career till he retires? Or will he eventually come yeah. off the bench? That's not for yeah. now. But Evan. Put the rat on the table. Brought to you by Echo Pest Control, the pest of the month where spiders and mosquitoes. Go to echopestcontrol.com for all your pest control needs. Uh, Evan Giddings is is younger than me. He's 30. He'll be in your chair he's, tomorrow. He's an old soul. 28. Oh. Oh, oh. He's, he's an old soul. He almost in the 30-30 he, club. He's an old soul. Yeah. He simply said to me, Steiny, I mean, you got to... Don't you? He gave me a don't you get it. He goes, Steiny, don't you get it? And I'm like, what? He goes, there are more Steph Curry fans than Warrior fans. And that's real. I Are you? No, I mean, I'm not. Are you? Re, seriously? You pointed this out months ago. Seriously? What? Do, I'm using you. What don't you get? Don't you get it? When you are this great, I get, yeah. there are more Jordan fans than Bull fans. There are more Magic fans than Laker fans. There are more Kobe fans. Steiny, when you get to this 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 plateau where the chef is at, I believe that, and it's the ultimate compliment. And it's no shade at the Steph fan, the Warrior fans that have been converted into Warrior. It's a cult like. When you get to this status, it's cult like. Nothing wrong with it, Stani. I understand. But are you really telling me that, that that blew you away? I was surprised. I was surprised because everybody knows my guy was Bird, but Bird never uh, that eclipsed era the was different, though. Well, I, it's funny. You said, yeah. that's, and Evan, that's kind of when of when that shift, when the whole idea of players over teams yeah. started. Yeah. And I think social media yeah. had a lot to do with it. But hey, it was always Bird, you know, it was always. You know, Celtics late. Celt- you could not dismiss the Selk- Celtics Lakers aspect to Magic Bird. It was one of my favorite video games, Lakers Celtics ninety. Was it a video game? Yeah. Oh, no. you didn't. All right. You didn't have attention span to play video games. I don't believe you could uh, sit still. No, you I got would... a little ADD. You like to move around. I played. Just I, let me tell it. you something. I played a video game that you probably never even heard of. Atari in television. No, that was one of my. I'm gonna tell you something. You couldn't beat. You could not beat me in me baseball. Me and Max Konisberg, He was Jewish. I was Konisberg's great. 90. I'd I was walk to his great. house and we would battle. And he had it in television. I love the young people. Now that, but so you why would bring not, the party down with that? You would not. I'm serious. You wouldn't have beat I me in baseball. Got with you in I was great in baseball. Stiney was great. Man. Uh, let's go to Marlin in Oakland. What's up? Hey, Marlon. You got to hit that radio. Oh, Lord. What's up, Marlon? No, Marlon. Sorry, his, his radio in the background. Is... Now, there's one guy on the line here that says Steven in San Jose, and it says he agrees with Steiny, but I don't want to put him on because I don't want... You better put him on. I live for those. Go ahead. Steven in San Jose. How you doing, Steven? Hey, thanks a lot for having me on, guys. Sure. Listen, I'm, I'm not telling you I agree with you, Steiny, 100%. But just hear me out for a second. Sure. You mentioned how Steph Curry is a very unique individual as well as an athlete. He would be the one that would set this concept of having, uh, I guess you call it a warm-up act for a starting five to start a game. You, you can call them scrubs if you want, but it's a warm-up act. And then you build it up to allow your A-list players to come in like Steph Curry, and they would also finish the game in the fourth quarter. I think if this were to get some traction, you'd see a lot of players that would maybe prolong their career if this concept were to take root. Now, I agree with you. I don't think it's going to happen. No. Steph Curry's a starter, but he would be the guy that could lay the groundwork for something like this. That's all I got to say. Appreciate the call. Like, John Havlicek, they say his career was prolonged because he went to the bench a little later in his career. Became yeah, a six but what? 
Yeah, but that wasn't say the gen- there yet. Yeah, no, that was not the genesis of your point. Your point again. This is a compliment, and it's why Kevin. Do you think Kobe? Luckily, Bryant- Steph understands. Yeah, no doubt. You talk yes. to him. Some people reach out. He doesn't like his overzealous fans. Let's put it that way. Dude, yeah, probably, that's oxymoron. He doesn't. Stani. He doesn't. Who, who would? Me. He doesn't like. I wouldn't like. What if you had fans like that? A cult fans are fans. Following. No, I don't want a cult following. I don't need you acolytes. Can't control it. Exactly. Exactly. And you know it's not healthy either. This is when I knew Steph was different. Listen to me. Yeah, give it to me, buddy. Bird would not have signed off on Kevin Durant or another alpha male coming to him. You might be right. Isaiah Zeke Thomas wouldn't have did it. I, I'm gonna tell you, I don't think Magic would have did it. He was he went into it. He was inherited <laughs> with with Kareem. And I look around and how Steph Curry allowed KD to come in and be himself. Incredible. Just, Steph is. It really is. Am not, I doing too much if I call him the NBA version of Gandhi? Like, he's just. <laughs> Stani, but he's Gandhi, special. But he's tougher than Gandhi. Oh, yeah, right. Who's Gandhi him. with a with a toughness with a, about with a, with him? With a triple three. But, dude, st- that was a compliment that you gave, <laughs> not a diss. All right. Enough about me. Yeah. I mean, well, I'll, I'll, I'll You're keep still talking. still on my line. I'll keep, I'll keep talking about Curry for sure. Because. Curry! He deserves it. And, uh,. That's right. You know what? That's uh, that's right. That's what I wanted to say. You talked about Durant coming in here. And that is oh one gosh, thing. Man. And I'll be honest with you. You know, at the time it was happening, I was like, well, Durant's a great player. <laughs> Steph's deferring. I was like, I don't know if it's that strong. But, yeah, Steph's definitely, uh, uh, Steph's definitely open to Kevin Durant taking a big role. And he doesn't care whose team it is. I'm talking about Steph. But at that time, I'll tell you right now, six years later I look back at it with Steph and yeah. Durant, Go ahead. and I'm more, like, now I'm impressed. Like, at the time it was happening, I didn't think much of it. Oh, Durant, big deal. Durant's coming in. He's a great player. Curry's cool. Blah. But now, six years later, I'm thinking, you know what? That wasn't, that wasn't easy at all. No, man. No, uh, very few players, if any, would have been able to do it. That's where, what I'm and, talking about. Like, in 2023... Yeah, you know what? That's something that goes on Curry's ledger in a positive way. The way he 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 ushered uh, Kevin Durant. In here. I, I I love nine two five views on YouTube. I love all the YouTubers studying. So I got to get this out. He puts stop sign. Stop. Did Steph really have a choice? If you with, don't believe with KD oh, coming, if you oh, don't yeah. believe the chef could have put it, if Definitely. he wanted to cause a stink, shout out Mark Schlereth. He could have stopped that from happening yeah. because he was the show. No doubt. And I understand it. But like, you know what? He's so, I can share. You know, I mean, you know what that's worth? You know what, though? This is when we get back to, does Steph have clout? Does he not have clout? Oh, my God. And I say, of course he's got clout, but it's Joe Lacob's decision in the very end. And I, I'll, I believe both things are true. I will say this. If that season ends... And Steph Curry goes, you know what? I don't want KD here. Because we're going to win without And there's without no way KD's that, here. Talk to there's me. no doubt about that. Talk to me. I Like that, that is, that I'll buy into for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, Marlon. Marlon's back. Hey, what's up, Marlon? How you doing? Hey, is this better? Can hey, what's up, Marlon? Listen to those pipes. Okay, okay. So I wanted to double down twofold. Real quick, Marlon. Uh, is this Merle? I wanted- is this Merle or Marlon? Some salt in your jet. Marlon. Okay, Marlon. Yeah, Welcome. Merle. Hey. Okay, Merle. What's up? Oh, both of them. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What's yeah. up, buddy? So, so Guru, Guru, I'm gonna go ahead and, and talk to you. Hey, when you said nobody can, nobody can ruin your day to day. Okay, go. Ahead. You need to look no further. You you need to look no further than Jordan Poole's photos for the <laughs> see. <laughs> Why are you laughing oh, at the she, photo? She looks, What's funny about so the photo, bad. Merle? He looks so sad. Oh that's the first thing. So I know that that will hurt your heart. That's number one. Number two, Stanley, I'm, I'm, I'm so with you. I'm doubling down because, honestly, this could be the first time in the history of the NBA that something happened. Steph is selfless. Mm. Chris Paul is a better ball handler than Steph Curry. At some point during the season, we're going to find that out. But if Steph came off the bench... Man, Steph could be the sixth man of the year and the end of the league. Steph come in and put up numbers in bunches. That's the first time I think something could happen like that. Steph knows that Chris is a better ball handler than him. 
Hey, Mar- hey Marlon, I appreciate that point. Thank you, Marlon. I appreciate it. It's well, look. It's not. It's it's not going to happen. I want more Steph, not less Steph. And well, I'm not. Come on now. But see, this and is, we're not there to where. But this is yeah, kind of the conversation yeah, I wanted to have. Like, this is the fun part of the conversation okay. that I want to have. He where can master I, a six man role. But how about, get like, it? But it's not real reality. I know it's not reality. But it's a way to talk about some of Steph's characteristics that we may never oh, get I, to talk about under any no, other circumstances. 